Be kind. The room was warmly decorated, though the atmosphere between the two was anything but. Steam rose between them from the kettle, tea steeping in scalding water and perfuming the air with a familiar fragrance. One looked across to the other, vapor and inefficient screen between them. Leveling a flat stare, the first repeated the words more firmly, the command in the statement impossible to miss. Be kind. Rage roiled through the second. The second did not drop the gaze of the first, silent demand sealing the space between them. What good is kindness, the second wanted to roar. What good is peace in the face of the loss they had suffered? Loved ones, homes, security, faith. The second had come to this place for direction, a way to aim the wrath that lit their blood. Finally, after long minutes passed, voice tight with fury, the second queried, and if I cannot? The first looked away, removed the leaves from the kettle and prepared two mismatched cups. Fingers shrunken with age, knuckles knotted with use, these were not the hands of the warrior the second had come to find. These were the hands of a ghost, a wraith of what glorious thing had been before. The first picked up the kettle with a grace that should have been foreign to one so old and tilted a stream of darkened water into one cup and then the other, a ritual done with steady hands and a nonchalance that did little to calm emotion in the second. Be kind, the first said again, filling one cup to the brim and the other not even halfway. And. Failing that, be victorious.